Good afternoon, folks. This is the uh, review of the half scale Polymar Hulk custom, which uh, I painted myself again, came in resin. So, this is my monument piece. It's pretty much the uh, centerpiece of my collection. Um, so, I have it focused into the face right now, and I uh, just want to point out the, uh, the multi colored skin treatment that I gave him. You may notice that it has tinges of uh, bronze and gold to the skin like that. I was going for the uh, classical look of uh, bronze statues and I think I achieved it. Um, not to get into the technical uh, thing that I did to it, it's not exactly paint. It's actually a uh, well, I started with a bronze paint and that paint actually had copper in it. So I start off with a base layer of copper. So he pretty much looked like a, uh, a bronze, golden bronze statue for a little while. And what I did was I spray an acid on it so that, um, so your patina, just like a, uh, a bronze statue would do in a garden and after that, I sprayed a clear coat on him. It took a long time to do, but uh, what you see here is a chemical reaction as opposed to a airbrush or anything like that. So in that respect, it is very unique. Um, kind of screwed up on the, uh, the pants here. You should be wearing purple pants, but what can you do? I have the, uh, I have the uh, life life-size side, uh, side show bus in right here for a size comparison you can kind of kind of decide for yourself you know the scale of the statue i had trouble putting it on the uh on the countertop but it is just it's just massive i'll just do a another look at it I don't, I don't think anyone has a finished like this for the Hulk. Just because uh, it's got so much dimensions to it, uh, to, the, to the green hue. Uh, let me do a close out of the face. You see that? I think it's very well done. It took a while for the uh, chemical reactions to take place and then to finally finish the product. But it's well worth the, uh, the effort. Uh, the paint itself was uh, was quite expensive, I believe. Like maybe in the hundred dollar range for the uh, couple of ounces that I got. So here's the back. I had a lot of I had a lot of space to cover with that paint. So yeah, it was quite an expense to finish this Hulk. And I think uh, I saw on eBay. Uh, not too long ago of a person that customized this particular sculpture as a uh, as a gladiator hulk or world war hulk and that looked pretty good too but uh, no one's got this paint or you know what i call a a classic bronze patina hulk i'm gonna gonna go through here and see see if i can get the gray hulk closer uh, yeah, well, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm probably going to break something, but anyways, this is my monumental scale Hulk half scale. Um, probably not exactly half scale, right? But you know, this is as big a Hulk as, uh, you can get before going into full scale. So I'm just going to pan out a little bit. And if you enjoy my videos, please hit subscribe. I'm going to be posting unique pieces and my commentaries on what I think uh, my statues uh, are worth and all that in the coming videos. Thank you very much.